and welcome back. We're here between the new team, the new formation of the the biscuits versus the hooks. Tyler Klee on the mound. Showed to be a pretty good pitcher last week. I mean, he was playing with Joe Grandal, so any, anybody's better than Joe. Whoa. That's going to be a 2-0 count. Tate Tolander is up at the plate. Uh, they haven't gotten much on the board. Only played one game last week, but they're here to show that there's... Oh, more to it. Move the tripod there a little bit, and we'll readjust, and we're all good now. Whoa. That's going to be a ball inside, and that's going to be a walk. That's a good little start for the hooks right there, where so far in this whole uh, league... Base runners have been a problem, so they want to stick to this small ball game. That's a key to the game right now. Also want to have effective pitching. They're leaving a little bit too many on the plate. Gave up six home runs last week, so that's honestly what they need is uh, keeping the ball. Oh, look at Brandon Clevenstone there. Get a nice little smack. That may bring in one. That will bring in one. It's going to bring in one. I would go back and make sure you touch home plate. That was very close. Touch home plate, Tate. Touch it again. Hashtag now he's safe. Strong. Okay. Bucket. Out of kid. All right. That was that was a nice shot right there by Brandon Clemson. They were, they were playing a little bit oppo on him, but he showed him who's boss. Now he's in like a running position, or what's going on here? I don't know what's going on. All right. Well, that's a good little start for the hooks. First run of the year scored in a real game. So that's a pretty good start for the hooks. Get a nice line drive off uh, pitcher Tyler Clear on the mound. That's one of their. That's one of the keys to the game right now. Getting players on base. Get them in. Oh, that's a strike. Get them on. Get them in. And uh, doing that, getting them over, getting runs on the board. That's another foul ball. Oh, two count on Tato Lander. Three. That's a strike. Three. Yeah, we'll see that one later. That's one out. Sure. This game is. Uh, this may be a good game right here. Got two pretty evenly matched teams. Both have two players here right now. Both missing a player, unfortunately. Um, but it should be a pretty good game. That's going to be a ball outside to Brandon. Whoa, big swing. Just a little bit outside. That ball's got a lot of movement on it. That's a righty. That right, that, uh, his middle finger there will make that ball just curve out of the strike zone every time. Yeah, it's going to be a ball. 2-1 is the count. Got a pretty good... He's got a pretty good movement on it. He's a tall guy. He's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of distance towards the plate when he takes that giant step. He finishes out, and uh, yeah, he gets really close to the plate, and that really shuts down the distance. Really reminds me of uh, the later Chris Young that played for the Royals. He kind of had that movement. Oh, it's another strike, but it's going to bring up 2-2 two -two count. Brandon Clevison is still at the plate. He's had a pretty good... He's only had four at-bats this whole time, actually, so... Oh, foul ball. Watch out. Watch your lips. He said four at-bats this whole league. Three strikeouts in the first one, and... Uh, Stat right there. Three strikeouts. You're welcome. Didn't sombrero though, but then but then just got a triple that last at bat, proving to be pretty good. Strike three. Back to back strikeouts for Tyler Klee, and we got a 1-0 ball game. Here we go. Yeah, I know it's okay. And here we go. Tate back up. Struck out last at bat. Oh, hit by pitch. Okay, yeah, that's, that's it's snap back though. All right, I puts up a guy on first and third, two down. Brandon looking to, Brandon looking to uh, make up for that last at bat. I mean, he didn't, re he really did not do the job. Man on third with less than two outs. Oh yes, yes, that's my kind of Coach Stegall style. Oh, no one playing the outfield, but Garrick might get there, and he does. We had a little bit of an over exaggerated bat flip there from Brandon Clevenstone, but it is going to be caught by the second baseman. Garrett Cladier. That's right. Now we go to the bottom of the first. One hooks. Zero biscuits. Hey, Teller on the mound. Going to bring up the bottom of the first. They're currently up one to nothing. Tyler Klee up at the plate. Very strong, powerful um, presence at the plate. Actually, in tryouts for uh, high school baseball, he did hit one out. So um, he's got a pretty he's, – he's pretty powerful. Yep. Whoa, look at that swing. After taking a big hack out of one – after taking a big hack at the first swing, he gets a nice little line drive up to that – uh, up to that left center gap, and no one's playing there. That's just going to be a single, but it's going to bring people on base. Up next is Garrick. Also tried out for the high school team. Unfortunately, there's just so many teams or so many people trying out. There wasn't enough spots for everyone to make it. That's going to bring up a ball. Just above the zone. Oh my God, there's so many. I don't know. I don't know. Tate's got a pretty good nastiness on his slider. He's very deceptive, but that not enough that one 
Going to be a hit by pitch. Bringing up first and second. Nobody out. Setting up pretty good for the Biscuits. Off Brock Gray, yeah. I was like, oh, that's a ball. As you can see, viewers, um, Tate's got a lot of deception on that ball. He's got a lot of slip. Whoa, foul ball. As you can see, that ball almost, I'd say, it almost curves about a foot, like every time. You, you really never know what's going to happen. It is the same pitch over again, but it is difficult to time up. That's going to be another strike. As you can see, that just freaking broke him right there. It's going to bring up a 1-2 count. Nobody out. Guy on first and second. Ball. Oh, oh. Watch your lips, folks. Watch your lips. Yep. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, the count. Foul ball again. Watch your lips. And this is going to stay with a 2-2 two, two count as Tate comes to the plate. Strike three. Tyler Klee. That ball was just on the outside corner. It started off right on that inside corner of the plate, but it just tailed right back, and that's going to get out of the strike zone. Strike three in the zone. Swing and miss. One out. First and second. One out here. Brings up Garrick again. Oh, another hit by pitch. You know what? That's a small go. That's a small ball game again. Most people think wiffle balls are about hitting dingers, but really, it's all about small ball. Got to get people on base. Got to move them over. Then it's easier to get them in. See, they already have three walks, and uh, without the big power hitting, they would they would be losing right now. But I don't know. Okay, that ball is going to be a foul ball. Yep, just foul. Okay, let's let's put down the players, Joe. God. All right, we got bags full, one out. There's no infield fly rule. That's something a little bit different here. There's no infield fly rule, but if they do get the ball back to the pitcher in time, it can be a double. And the ball's going to fall in for a base hit. One run will score. Yep, just one run as they can only move up as many as many uh, bases as the original player. So that is going to break, tie the game. One, two, one. Bags full for Garrick, who right now is 0 for 0 with two hit by pitches. He's only seen two pitches. Both of them hit him. Oh, that's a ball. That's the first pitch that has hit him today, folks. 1-0 count. Ball goes back. We still got the bases loaded. 1-1 one, one here in the bottom of the first. It's a beautiful day on uh, my birthday right here, October 27th, right here in KC Mo. Thank you. Uh, we got a 2-0 count now. The ball kind of flew over his head. He's not going to swing at that. Whoa! That ball kind of came in the zone. Had a bunch of movement on that one. That's going to make it a 2-1 count. Pretty good movement right there. I still got a pretty... He's got a nasty slider, but he's got to be able to locate that pitch. If he's going to pitch that one every time, he's got to be able to hit the strike zone on some of them, or else they're going to make him chase, and it's going to be a walk fest. See that pitch right there? That'll get him. That brings up a 3-2 count. 3-2 count. See that pitch? That'll work all day for you, because I think it's going to go out of the box, but then it just stays in. But that one, trying to make him chase there, will not be effective. And the Biscuits take a 2-1. to one, A 2-1 to one lead. Tate on the mound. He's got uh, four walks on the day. Bringing up Tyler Klee. Whoa, base hit right there by Tyler Klee. He's going to score one run. He maybe go for two here. One run in. And that's right. That is going to bring in two runs. Forces in the Ghost Runner. Going to make it four runs to one. Yeah, that's a ball. Garrick is up again. Ball two. O oh for O oh with three walks. That's a pretty good stat line. If uh, you don't put the ball in play, you can't get out. So, good little mindset right there. That's a strike. That is a strike. Two balls, one strike. He's going to play the small ball game. Got to make him throw more than two strikes here. 3 1. Takes me a little while, so my philosophy right now is uh, um, got to make him throw me two strikes before I start swinging and stuff. We got 3 1 count. I'm taking all the way here if I'm Garrick, but if he gives him that money pitch, I might as well swing away. But no, ball four, take your base. That's going to bring the bases loaded once again for Tyler Klee. The score right now is four to one. For the Biscuits, they're going to go on top right now in the bottom of the first inning. And here he steps up again. That's a big fly. Got an opportunity. Going to be caught, though. And... He is going to be safe. So that is going to be one out. One run comes in to score. Actually, no, we got two outs. We got two outs. That's right. We got one strikeout. So that was a pretty good tag up right there. It's going to bring up a five to one man on first and second. 
ball. Watch your lips. A little bit crazy there. Uh, scores five to one in the bottom of the first. Got a man on first second. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes for Mr. Garrick. 3-0. This could be the first ever five straight walk attempt here. And the real thing, got a 3-0 count and that's gonna be hit by pitch. Yep, they'll take that all day, especially on Saturdays. That's gonna make the bases loaded once again. Two outs, Tyler Clee, five to one. Ha! That's gonna be a strike. And uh, that actually kinda broke up the strike zone a little bit. He had, he had some oomph on that one, big fellas. That's gonna be one strike, 0-1 count. That's a ball, 101. That's a hit by pitch. That's gonna bring another run. Not looking too good for the hooks. Six to one is the score. A grand slam here will put them out of this inning, leaving a 10 to one deficit to climb out of. That's a strike, foul ball. That was a pretty good hack right there by Garrick. Good idea, which you're trying to get done there. Oh, that one just barely missed strikes. And I don't know how he laid off that pitch, honestly. I did not hit the strike zone. That is gonna be a ball, very close though. Yep, that's a strike though. That's gonna give him strike two. Man, he's trying to he's finding his command now. He's gonna be able to spot that pitch every time. That's gonna bring up a two-two count now. Ball's just outside. Garrick stepping in. The two-two. Big fly! Maybe! Bye-bye! First homer of the day! Wow, that's gonna bring in all four runners, and it's gonna be 10 to one biscuits and that's the new run rule for the inning 10 to one biscuits they go up and here we go all right here we go uh, that's going to bring up a 1-1 one, one count. A little bit of uh, difference. Whoa! That's actually going to be a strike. Move the strike zone. That was a high spot for him. 1-2 and two is the count. Tate Taylor up in the plate. Whoa! Slowed him down. Changed him up. Struck him out. That's going to be the first out at the top of the second inning. 10-1 to one is the count. Oh, 10-1 to one is the score. My bad. Whoa! That's an aggressive swing right there by Brandon Clevenstone. Got no one in the outfield, so that's going to bring him at least a two. Look, like he's going to try and stretch it into three. Bad throw. And he's going to step into third with ease. Second triple of the day for Brandon. It's just gross. Tate steps back in. If I was him, I'm just trying to do a job right now. Put a ball in play. That's a strike. Tyler's got a pretty good off-speed pitch. He does have quite an arm, but he'll, he'll switch you up with that Ephus. That's going to bring up a 1-1 count. Uh, that's another ball. It's going to be a 2-1 count. Move the camera a little bit there, so we'll move it back a little bit. And here we go. That's a ball. I was very close, though. 3-1 count. Tasty's trying to do a job here. You go ahead. And that's oh, going to do a job. It's going to be a base hit. Fair ball down the left field line. Tate's going to try and stretch this in a three. Maybe. Nope. The ball get the ball in. That's going to be a double for Tate Tolander. It's going to shorten their deficit a little bit. 10-2 is the new score. There's nothing hurt by that. They'll take that every day of the week. Nice little jam shot. What are you going to do about it? And they'll keep staying with their game plan. Brandon steps back in the box. 10-2 to two is the score. Oh, just outside. Almost hitting the strike zone. Just a little bit less command. Oh, he's going to try and poke it out there. And Garrett catches the ball, and that's going to be an out. Oh, but a miscommunication on the diamond. And that's going to let Tate advance to the next base. So Brandon tried to do his job there by moving the runner over. He did, but effectively did get an out. So that's bad news for the hooks. Good news for the biscuits. It's going to bring up one out. Man on third base. 10-2. to two. Here we go. Ball. Just outside. Well, that's a little bit of a knuckleball action. Probably couldn't see that on the camera. He's going back with a knuckleball on that one. Whoa! little jam shot again from Tate. That's going to bring in a run. That score is now 10-3. to 
a little bit different now. Um, if you go by 11 runs by the second inning, uh, you're, um, the game will be over. And so that's a strike for Brandon Clevestone. So if they do get a couple outs here and then score a couple runs, this game will be a quick one, big fellas. It's going to be a 1-1 one, one count. That ball was outside. Oh, that ball is straight up in the air. That's a tough one, though, with the sun. That's going to fall. He is not happy about that. Tyler Clee is not happy about that attempt right there. Oh, they're going to throw it. No, but it's just, it, this is a circus. This is an utter circus. And we got a safe call. Multiple rulings from an umpire, and we're going to get him a safe call. That was close. That was a close play. But um, we're going to call him safe. Four to ten is the new score. That's a pretty good um, at-bat by Brandon there. Getting it right in the defensive players um, and their defense, basically, uh, as the sun is very tough to read today. But that one will be quite an easy one to catch. Oh, but he dropped it anyways. Oh, gosh. That, oh, no. That's just quite embarrassing right there. That's that's what I call great embarrassment. And uh, it's going to make the score 10 to 5. That's two errors on the inning that are going to lead to at least three unearned runs. So that's not good for the hooks. That's a strike. We got one out. Biscuits have a 10 to 5 lead. And that was a 1 1 count to Brandon Clevenstone up again. Whoa! Why are you touching me? That knuckleball is something nasty. Never know where it's going to go. And that ball, that one just kind of stayed up, just hang up in the zone, and he was not able to get me to it. Oh, wow. Just barely staying alive with that little swing. It's going to make it a. Two and two count. Actually, one, two count. One ball, two strikes. He's going to try and stay in the zone here. Tyler's got a little bit of deception, a little bit of movement. Never know what's going to come. He doesn't have a great way of hiding his pitches. What the? Wow. That's not showing that. That's only two outs, big fellas. That is three outs, really? Three outs, okay. And that's going to bring up the end of the top of the second. The score is 10 to 5. Back here, bottom of the second inning. Uh, the score is 10 to 5. Oh, hit by pitch. Tyler Klee goes to first base. A little bit different here now. Um, if you go by 11 inning or 11 runs by the second inning, uh, this game will be over. So if they score six here, this game will effectively end very shortly. That's a ball outside for Tate. He really needs to work on his command right now. He's given up a couple walks. He's given up a couple hits. So they may need to, Oh, they are going to go to a pitching change, as you didn't see before. But in between innings. Brandon had a pretty good idea at uh, where he wanted the strike zone to be. That ball, that ball hit the bucket. Wow, that's just a quality throw. He's going to take a couple of warm-ups throw. And we're going to take this time to uh, list off our sponsors today. Um, sponsorship from uh, the Y, letting us use their field. I mean, they're not really letting us, but uh, they're, just, they're not saying no. At Mark T. Field, it's a really awesome facility. Uh, we, got some, we got some awesome soccer and some football tournaments going on today. And it's just an all-around multi-purpose field. Thank you, the YMCA, for um, just an awesome opportunity to get out here and play some awesome wiffle ball. Yeah, Brandon is uh, kind of filling up the zone now. He's got a he's got a different array of pitches. He's got a nice little slider. He's got a nice little changeup, and he'll beat you with that fastball as he does play baseball. And I think we're going to be ready to go as Garrick steps in the plate. Nice little at bat here. And the pitch. Whoa, that ball's got a little bit of movement on it. That's a little curvy wervy right there. That's going to be a ball, though. It's a close pitch. And I think he's going to be wary of that next time as that ball might fall in again. Oh, nice little base hit going with the opposite field. He's not really running, though. That could easily be an inside the park home run if he's actually running. What is happening? Look at this effort right now. And that's going to be a run scored 11 to 5. 11 to 5. And here we go. He's got a nice little... Nice little movement on him, but it does stay up in the zone. That ball stays up in the zone a little bit too long, and they're gonna they're gonna be able to time him up. Unfortunately for the hooks, they're just gonna tee off. That's gonna bring up a one-one count as the ball is just outside. Tyler's shown some real power, so we'll see how this at bat goes for him. Oh, big fly! Heads up! Just gonna be a foul ball. Almost hit a crowd of people. This is about to be like a Wii experience. Whoa! But no, it didn't Didn't hit anybody. That's good. Whoa! Bringing out a little bit of the speed on him right there. That's going to bring up a 2-2 count. Back behind. Goes back to the off speed there. Never know, never know, never know. As we did have a very interesting 
Yep, and that's going to be a foul ball. We had a very interesting foul ball experience in, that, in our first game. Garrett and I did a foul ball hit off my bat. It ended up being a triple as it rolled back into field of play because uh, these are not real baseballs. So they have a little bit different physical um, appearance. So they move a little bit differently, and uh, so they're very unpredictable. Bringing up a 2-2 two -two count. Oh, no, that is going to be another foul ball. And he's fighting off a pretty good at-bat here. You never know. He does have a lot of off-speed stuff, but he's also got that fastball he's already shown once this at-bat. What's it going to come? Oh, that was just a little floater that kind of stayed up. Didn't really fall down at all. Just trying to get him to chase. Trying to change his mind on that one. That's going to bring up a 3-2 count. What's coming now? And it looks like it's going to be the curve ball, the knuckle ball. The knuckle curve combination there. That would have been a strike, but he was effectively able to put the bat on the ball, fouling that ball off. Another 3-2 count. Oh, pitcher hand. Oh, oh no. He's going to be safe. Oh, that could have been a potential double play. Could have really helped him out, but uh, unfortunately was not able to get that one to go in. And uh, that will not bring in a run, but it will move him over to third. First and third is where we are at. The score is 11 to 5. A couple more runs in this game will effectively end. Whoa, that ball was left up in the zone. And that's going to bring in a run. And here we go. Here we go. First and second. 12 to 5 is the score. Oh, that was close. That was really close. And uh, that ball's just going to be inside. Oh, foul ball into the net. Sorry, man. It looks like, a, looks like maybe a handle there. You know what? They're probably going to score some runs. He's, he wants to stay in the plate and hit anyways. He's got two strikes. One ball, two strikes. I, I can tell Tyler just wants to hit. He didn't, he didn't want to go to first now, and he wants to take a big daddy hack on this one. Cut chow. That's going to bring up a 2-2 two -two count. 2-2 two -two count. Oh, yeah, that's what we like to see right there. A little bit of a bad flip, showing a little bit off, but they're not going to score. That was pretty good defense there by Tate. Cut that ball off and then just a strike right back to Brandon. Not able to let Garrick come in to score. The score is now 12 to 5. They can go. They can go. They can effectively win this game if Garrick goes with another grand slam. Definitely possible as Brandon does like to leave the ball in the strike zone. He's all about strikes. He's not going to try and walk anyone. That's going to be a strike right there. See what I mean? He is all about command right here. He's not going to walk many batters, but that does mean he's going to leave some over the plate, possibly getting ejected just like that. G G no re. As the biscuits drive in four right there by Garrick. That's going to bring up a 16 to five game over. Biscuits go on top for the first one of the season as a brand new team ever since they left the jumbo shrimp. Hey, we're 0-2, guys. 0 Biscuit 16, hooks 5.